Yeah, good morning. I was deliberately struck this morning right in front of Starbucks. I'll show you. It's right over there on that corner. Right there. The first thing the guy sees is that red blanket. That's exactly the way I stacked it this morning when I got out of bed. Hasn't changed. And then he sees me and it's with the hat on. I'm pretty dark skinned. And the guy who deliberately hit me right in my broken arm, first thing he said was, I didn't see you. You want to see that street lamp right there? Oh, wait a second. Let me see. Street lamp right there. Street lamp right there. You can't hardly see it. It's right behind that crepe myrtle bush right over that walkway. I was right up against the curb. And that walkway, when he deliberately struck me with the mirror on his truck. <clears throat> Let's do the old turnaround if we can now. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not exactly an able-bodied person. I don't be, appreciate being bullied by some little five foot eight, five foot ten jerk at six so oh, five, six ten in the morning. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cause I don't see the flip indicator on this <clears throat> yep happened right there right in the center of the frame see that red bright red curb right next to it was my bright red blanket in behind me with a hat on almost seven feet of a shade of color that's just barely one step above Oh yeah, this looks real dark at this time of the morning and all the humidity, but I'm just one shade above white. And he says, I can't, I didn't see you. Uh, his next statement showing that he obviously had been in many collisions, struck many things was, it wasn't my fault. That was his next. First he said he didn't see me. Then he said, it wasn't my fault. And then he said, because I repeat people word for word, bro. I don't, I don't mess up other people's words. I'll kind of tone that down so somebody, I don't want to think I'm filming or something. <clears throat> Please, I'm trying to. And let me see, he said, first, I didn't see you. And then he said, it's not my fault. And here goes another one. This is a very busy place. The point of this video is, is that Starbucks attracts is a shit magnet. I'll get to that in a minute. Right there where the ladies going right there. That's where he hit me, right there at that well lit. See, there's one on this side. There's one over by the other side by the clinic. And his final, he said, first, I didn't see you. And I'm going like, dude, I'm, he goes, uh, it wasn't my fault. Standard response for a guy who's been sued probably more than once and been had been in several Really never heard anybody go. It's not wasn't my fault say that quick especially to Somebody who's dressed in almost white and there's a big red blanket staring right at you as you approach on me So Then what was his final statement? I got to remember it word for word. It's got to be accurate his final statement was uh uh, I'm not the one walking is exactly what he said when he deliberately struck me in my broken arm at about 6 10 this morning right there where the lady in the orange is about to be a little more no she turned in early it's further down right there we're a well-lit corner I'm up right up against the red curve I got a red blanket on my seat I'm dressed in almost white and I'm right there by the red brick walkway that everybody knows is there that's where he decided to give me a little love tap on behalf of the local crew here. So I've already pointed out to you, I'm well aware that there's, you know, in my first channel on YouTube or the same channel, my first videos, I pointed out what a great and unusual place Pflugerville is. It, it is compared to Austin. I said that was the title of it was, this is Pflugerville, Texas. It ain't Austin. Sorry, I'm doing a little downhill right now. 
<coughs> people going on my, but then I found out I had a, you know, a child rapist on my subscriber list who started messing with me. Convicted child rapist, 25 years. But I guess I'm kind of coming back now, kind of not being so sweet because, you know, Pflugerville has the normal, actually slightly above normal. They have about a 2% psychopath rate. Probably if you work in high tech, you're probably one of them. Because that's who hit me this morning. Is obviously kind of a little tiny techie guy with his black polo and his dark. You don't talk about somebody who couldn't be seen at night. Other than his white pasty arms from always working indoors. He was wearing a black polo shirt, dark hair, dark glasses, and dark Levi's. Not bleached out, at least. So, that's funny. That's four times now in this immediate area. And I know there's some connection between all it's now we're up to what four bullies so please i still like it here in pflugerville let me try to set up here but i know that i'm going to have to deal with people exactly like that little runt this morning who deliberately you know used his mirror to smack me he was because he was immediately pushing his mirror back out straight. Why do you really even need the mirror? Consider you're taking a left-hand turn that's all blocked by shit like me, like me standing there. But to actually think that me or anybody else is going to believe you, given them what I just documented, the, the red wheelchair in front of me, the fact that I'm wearing colors that are, you know, close to white or brighter than white, more, you know, isn't that like, bright blue or blue in there, you know. And then that final statement where he said, I'm not the one walking. Uh, excuse me? I'm supposed to like magically jump out of your way? I'm supposed to somehow predict what you're going to do? No, you deliberately moved in as close as you could because you knew one more inch. This is the real one more inch and he would have snagged my wheelchair which would have taken out the left side of that truck. That kind of a beige, uh, you know, kind of tan, bronze, copper. You know how it's kind of has different looks, a different light. But that the guy would actually, the number one, that he didn't immediately apologize for striking me, tells me, you're not from Texas, buddy. You're not from here. That tells me right there, you're a foreigner. And all of the few little three statements that you made, all indicate that you've struck a lot of shit before and you've had to litigate before because you meant the first thing you said was it wasn't my fault i didn't actually the first thing was i couldn't see you that's bullshit red right at my you know my from my kind of waist down or bright red there kind of hard to miss and then all the rest of me all pants all I'm like one shade darker than white. It's real dark today. It's technically it's like misty right now. It's you got no visibility is probably almost three thousand feet. But this guy was a deliberate furthering attempt to bully me. And I'm pretty sure all these people actually know each other. Please, Starbucks. I'll finish with, with Starbucks is not a bad place, but like any kind of place where there's a lot of social activity a lot of it's a shit magnet if you're going to find psychopaths you're going to find them right here at starbucks i see them there all the time they're trying to do some kind of business deal i'm here for a meeting there are a lot of one of the frequent most common ripoff scam artists i see coming in out of here or from out of state and they're here trying to get some money from local religious groups i've run into several guys the guy from chicago was here trying to get money for under religious pretenses but otherwise i'm not still not a big fan of the coffee starbucks but starbucks food is highly edible and half the people who come here were really decent people but if you want to find the creeps and the two percent of psychopaths in pflugerville texas you're going to find them usually driving around there but some but no they actually a lot of them like to go inside so they can be part of the scene or go out on the patio and talk on their phone vigorously and wave their hands everywhere like there's somebody important and their ceo and they're running the drama 
So that's it. That's pretty much my record of this morning's deliberate attack on my person, specifically my broken arm.